Well, folks who live in two public housing developments in Mobile told tonight about a five-year plan to relocate them. The Mobile Housing Board held a closed-door meeting for Thomas James and RV Taylor residents tonight. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey joins us now. Muriel, some of those residents said they're eager to move out. They did, Greg. Many of them I spoke with said they are ready to move for safety reasons. Now, the media was not allowed inside of that meeting tonight, but I spoke with the housing board's executive director, and he tells me that they will relocate more than 500 families within the next five years. In a closed door meeting, RV Taylor and Thomas James public housing residents were briefed on the housing board's plan to relocate them. I know while it's very emotional for people who are living in a development, uh, I like to see it as an opportunity for us to make the community better. Mobile Housing Board Executive Director Michael Pierce says the plan is to move everyone within the next five years. He says he expects the first phase to begin in eight to 12 months. The units are in such disrepair that it is cost prohibitive to continue to rehab them. It's less expensive to issue the voucher than to have, maintain that property. Pierce says residents will receive what's called a tenant protection voucher, and that will help them with their move which then allows them to be able to go out into the private sector or marketplace and rent a unit if they take uh, vouchers. He says if they don't want the voucher, they can move into another public housing development. It's deplorable. It should have been gone. Jamita Alphonse lives in RV Taylor. She says she's waiting to see what happens. They keep saying they're going to do this and do that, and they haven't never done it to begin with. Others say they're ready to move for safety reasons. I'm just wishing to move into a better place, and I hope they do that for us. Put it in a safer place. It's not safe in the project. And Pierce tells me that right now they do not have any plans for uh, redeveloping that land right now. He says all of that is just still up in the air, but he says it could be anything from new housing to commercial or mixed-use developments. Reporting live in Mobile, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News.